football betting strategy that is going to be making you money in the year 2022, in the year 2023, and in the year 2024. I believe that this is a strategy that is going to be valid for the next three years. So ensure that you watch this video till the very end. And if you are privileged to watch this video on 10th November 2022, then it means that you are a subscriber to the Must Better uh, memberships that is provided by YouTube. And I really appreciate it that uh, the likes of Chi Solomon Chiemezie, Samson Opio, Victor Wamalwa, Edgar, uh, Edgar Othine, and uh, the, the other name is kind of funny, Odugudu, like Odugudu Umnize. Thank you very much for subscribing to the Must Better membership. It's uh, just good that you actually took your time to show support by ensuring that uh, you are joining the membership, and it's very much good. So with that being said, I want you to know that the reason why you are seeing this video today is because the video that I posted yesterday hit 500 likes. And as I promised you that when our video that I posted yesterday hit 500 likes, I will be dropping you my personal betting strategy that I use in betting to allow me make money each and every other single day. And this is the strategy. It's a very simple one. But before going over the strategy, let me make one thing clear. I've been telling you guys over and over again. Don't bet on the same game in different, in different bet slips. Let's say we have four bet slips. So bet slip one, bet slip two, bet slip three, bet slip four. Then I have the game between Arsenal versus Manchester United. So the game between Arsenal versus Manchester United, I've included it in slip one, in, I've included it in slip two, I've included it in slip three, and I've also included it in slip four. And to make it even worse, in all these games whereby I'm betting on Arsenal versus Manchester United, I've decided to bet on Arsenal win. Then when the game plays, Arsenal is beaten by Manchester United and I lose slip one, I lose slip two, I lose slip three, and I lose slip four. So it's very bad behavior. Come on. If you have to really bet on different slips, ensure that you do not bet on one game in all those slips. Ensure that slip one contains games that are different from those contains in slip two. I mean, just ensure that those slips do not contain the same game. That is the basic of it. Remember that when you read, when you listen to the song uh, Kenny Rogers the Gambler, he actually says one thing. You need to know that you need to know when to hold them. You need to know when to fold them. You need to know when to walk away. You need to know when to run. You, know, you need to know when to count your money. I mean, because you never count your money while sitting at the table. That is just the same to betting too. I mean, you really need to know what to do in order to make money betting. I will share with you this betting strategy today and then you will find that somebody is going to be repeating this mistake. That is why I insisted on starting with uh, clearly telling you that don't combine these games. It's very bad and it won't be helping you making money. And the other thing you also need to know that every hand is a loser and every hand is a winner. So you will, need, you will have to lose and you will have to win too. But the good thing is that if you have a strategy that is consistent, you will still make money at the end of the day. And that is one thing that allows me to make money off betting. So with that being said, I tend to think that let us now dive into the video. But before diving into the video, I'm asking you to take a moment, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. If you don't have something that you can say, then just say thank you for the video or just say thank you. So before you proceed, comment thank you or thank you for the video or just comment your opinion about the much better betting tips and also leave a like. So I believe you have left a like and also commented this video. So let us proceed. So to use this betting strategy, then we need to go to the website known as footballtipspredictions.com. Footballtipspredictions.com. Once you are there, you will see there are today's predictions, Wednesday 9th, Thursday 10th, Friday 11th, Saturday 12th. I love this website because they provide predictions uh, even two days in prior, but I rarely use them. I only, I'm only interested in games whereby they are tipping on the draw. So you scroll on their website, you'll find that there are scenarios whereby, uh, like the first game here, I see they have the game. This was on Wednesday night. We had the game um, between Shrewsbury versus Oxford United. Shrewsbury versus Oxford United. They said that this game is going to be ending in a draw of 2-2. Wow, so this is the games that I'm looking at. When, in this website, when they predict a game to end at a draw of 2-2, there is 99% probability that that game is going to be ending in over 1.5 goals. 
and there is also 70% probability that that game is going to be ending in over 2.5 goals. So in a scenario whereby they predict, like on this scenario, Shizubari versus Oxford United, they were saying, this game is going to be ending at a score of 2-2. So in this scenario, when, I'm, when I was to bet on this game, the thing that I could do is that I will go for the odds, check the odds if they are big enough, and if they are not big enough, I will wait for the game to start, and then later on in second half when the scores are, let's say, over, then I will go ahead and bet on it live. Uh, so this game, Shisbury versus Oxford United, in case you didn't know, it ended at a score of 1-1. As just as I said, when they predict on the score to be 2-2, then the chances of over 1.5 occurring in the game is 99%. So that is the first scenario of how I use the website. Then scenario number two is coming up below. So scenario number two, they also predict on a draw, but when they predict on a draw, they give it a correct score of 0-0, zero zero, that is nil to nil. In that scenario, we have the game between Legzo, Legzo Ease versus Farense. They are predicting the game to end at a score of nil to nil. In scenarios whereby they predict the score to end to nil to nil, then the chances of over 2.5 goals occurring is 99%. The chances of over 1.5 goals occurring is 99%. So you find that the game between Legzo Ease versus uh, Farense, which was playing under the Portugal, Cup ended as following. It ended with a score of uh, 3 to 1. So you see, it was a win. And just a final example of that betting, uh, of that betting selection or that betting strategy is a game that I've actually staked on today. I staked on it live. It's the game between uh, Arus. No, it's the game between Vibog. Uh, yeah, it's the game between Arus versus North Just Leland. This one is the game. So I. They predicted on the game to end at a score of 2-2. So it means that this game had a higher chance of ending in over 1.5 goals. That is, the chance of the game ending in over 1.5 goals had a 99% probability. So because when I looked at the game in pre-match, the odds of over 1.5 goals were lower, I decided to wait for the game to start. So in second half, the scores were still at 0-1 in the 60th minute. So I decided to bet on over 1.5 goals, at an odd of 1.59, I staked a little amount, but that doesn't really matter as long as you know what you are doing. So I staked on that uh, game, and I won it at the end of the day because it ended at a score of 2 So you see, the betting strategy is simple. You don't need any calculations. You only need to look for games whereby they are tipping on a draw. And once you're found on games whereby they're tipping on a draw, if the score is 2-2, two to two, then you should know that the chances of over 1.5 goals occurring in that game is going to be 99%. And if the score is 0 to 0 or nil to nil, then you should know that the chances of over 2.5 goals and over 1.5 goals occurring in that game is 99%. So that is the betting strategy. It's simple. It's a uh, majority it works this way. In some days, they will give you a lot of options for draw. So you can form multi bets and get odds up to as high as three odds. On other days, you won't find a lot of options whereby they're tipping on draw, so you'll have to stake on them singly. But the most important thing, even when you bet singly on this game, is to ensure that you stake responsibly. By responsibly, I mean stake what you can afford to let go, and stake what won't make you uncomfortable about betting. Well, that is it, guys. It's a simple betting strategy. If you loved the video, I only ask you one thing. Drop a comment below, like the video, and share it with a friend. I posted this video so that all the betting team, all the betting and uh, punters and uh, sport gamblers can see it. So the best thing that you can do after watching this video is to share it with a friend. So that marks the end of this video. Thank you for taking your time. So goodbye.